Namaste. Good morning, guys. Uh, I just want to start by again welcoming you to this moment, to the perfection of the here and now. And I want to give a big shout out to Evans, who uh, recently asked the question, what do you do when, how do you experience God within and what do you do when situations around you are palpable? Like the problems, the situations around you are palpable. And what is the experience like of God in you? So I want to chat with you about that today. Respond to that question and so much more. What do we do? What does God feel like? Um, I, I think maybe the best way to answer this question would just be to um, show you what God feels like within. Uh, one situations and circumstances are ideal and perfect and things are going well. This is what God looks like in me. <laughs> and uh, what that feels like, I'm sorry, morning. <laughs> what that feels like is it feels like um, uh, a head high. So, first of all, a large portion of my, probably 85-90% um, of my day is experienced with a head high. And I started, that started back in, in 2000, it started way back in the early 2000s, but uh, actually probably early 90s, but it was very few and far between. And progressively got closer and closer to closer into the 2000s where I was experiencing ecstasies like once a day. And it's what I call an ecstasy. If you would like to know what the ecstasy is, drop a question below. I'll be happy to respond to that. Um, and um, so I would be experiencing these ecstasies at least once a day. And then that progressively increased. In 2010, it became a 24-hour day ecstasy. And a large portion of that day is spent in a head high. So I feel very high. It's a very enjoyable, pleasant high, sometimes more mild. Um, as far as the head high is concerned, sometimes more mild and sometimes very intense. Um, but I, what I really am, am playing in that. So over the course of, since 2010, all the way up to the present, there have been many moments along the way where I surrendered those highs in that body so as to, I just yielded them yielding all of myself, all of what I thought I was, because a large portion of the identity over the years had become about the experience I was having, Evans, and uh, I never want, and I, I don't want an identity. An identity will actually limit and keep you from experiencing the fullness of the moment you're in, and it'll keep you experience, from experiencing the fullness of your true nature, because you'll continually be limited by this idea of what I am. And uh, that idea of what you are is the greatest hindrance to the experience of the body and mind and to truly being what you are. So, uh, and then a lot of a lot of my days spent kind of in a, and in another 15% of my days probably spent in more of a mild head high. It's a, kind of a more mild head high, but a very chill, relaxed disposition. Now, I, this is something I've chosen to create, to shape, to mold. I, I love to talk about personality sculpting in um, life artistry classes, and but this is something that I've chosen to mold with this body, just like I choose to mold the body. I've chosen to mold the personality, and I chose, I've chosen how to play with that personality and what to express and to experience within that personality. We'll save that for another time. I know that has nothing to do with your question, Evans, but back to the point what I am is choosing to manifest I enjoy 
the physical sensation in my body and mind of that high, of that euphoria, of the ecstasy. In 2010, it was an over, such an overwhelming experience. I had never experienced anything like it to the degree that I had drug addicts and um, swearing you have to be on drugs. I was receiving hate mail every day from either Christians or drug addicts because they were one was saying you're on drugs or you're faking it or this is so stupid and the other was saying hey man this isn't right we know you're on drugs no one's that high without being on drugs and these are people that were hanging out with me in person in the forum and I was just enjoying this thing but it was so intoxicating that I couldn't really function in physical form like I said my identity became wrapped up in that what happened along the way though is, is as challenging circumstances began to happen they unfazed me because along the way, the identity was slowly moving. I was shrinking away from, or that identity, I should say, was fading away. And only your identity is faced by circumstances. The only time you've ever experienced an uh, identity crisis or negative circumstances in your life is because that is your life that you're believing is real and that's where the challenge is the challenge always lies in your beliefs about yourself and the ego in the circumstances in your attachments misery is always the result of what you're attached to and so when you are experiencing circumstances that feel tough i want you to realize the one that is feeling those circumstances as tough is not the real you so let me show you what it feels like when situations and circumstances around me are going wild, where there is no money or where there's uh, not a lot of food or there's, you know, uh, you can't pay your bills. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and it feels the exact same. The feelings of my body only change when I get too close to the person or to that belief, when I start to believe or identify in the body and mind or one of the characters that's being played. When you begin to identify as the character of the avatar, that's the life that you start to try to build for yourself and that's where your misery lies, that's where challenges lie, that's where the struggle is. You let go of this burden by slowly beginning to learn how to observe those thoughts first the emotion second, and then the personality and the avatar third. And then as you begin to learn to observe them, you're able to start moving away from them. So, But the, the trick is to observe without judgments, no judgments. And then you're able to start letting go of that thing because the more you observe it, the more you realize that it's not the authentic you. I hope this helps. I hope this answers your question, Evans. I love you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Listen, if you have any questions from me that you'd like me to respond to in future videos, drop them below. And I'd be happy to chat with you. Drop any comments you have. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family if you think it'll be a benefit to them. I love you so much. Have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.